So I'm here to fix the uh, vertical issue. Turn it on and see if we can turn it on. I wonder how they have it shut off. Probably a circuit breaker or something. Okay, so I just got it turned on, the circuit breaker was off, and you can see the hum bar rolling up, and also the whole picture is shifting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, pull the chassis and take it outside. I brought my table and chair and propane soldering iron and all that and I brought some filters and I'm going to try and figure out which one is causing the problem and tack one across it. Boy it's getting dim and you could hardly see it in the beginning. About five minutes into it it's just becoming visible. Uh, this isn't good. I went to pull the volume power knob off and it just the whole shaft pulled out. That's bad. Okay, so working on a CTC 16 chassis in the middle of a parking lot in beautiful downtown LA. And I'm going to go through and troubleshoot the caps. And you guys know how I do that with a speaker and some audio and look at the base filtration. I'm using the uh, uh, tap off my car stereo as the audio source. So let's do this. Let's see which capacitor is open. So what we're going to do here is we got our audio source. We got our speaker in series here. We got one side clipped on the chassis. And I'm probably about 90% sure that the capacitor that's bad, well you can't really see this in the sun, is the one that's on the, bat, the B plus side of the vertical output transformer. Um, on the vertical multi-vibrator. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and probe these suckers one at a time until I hit one that's open. And that one, the first one, is totally open. Let's turn this here. That one's got a little capacitance. That one's totally open. That one's pretty good. That one's pretty good. That one's really good. So the lower the value, the more bass it filters off. So you can hear that that one there is probably like a 4, 4, 5 UF. And that one's an 80 UF. So let's do this one at the bottom. Usually when you get problems with the TV, they're just totally open, and this looks like my, I don't even know if you can see that, but this looks like my daddy. So let me see what that is on the schematic. So it's this short guy here, which is C3. If you look on here, it's uh, C3 right there. And it's half moon. And C3 half moon is that 80 right there, which is the one I suspected. So I'm going to just tack one across it. We can tell what the audio, it's not shorted or leaky, it's just open. So I'm going to just tack one in there. I tell you, these people walking around out here got to think I'm just totally insane driving their Priuses and their nice Mercedes and I'm just uh... so anyway this is a uh, uh, gas butane powered or yeah butane powered soldering iron and I have a couple of these and these are really really handy for stuff like this where you don't have line voltage so all we do is just light this thing up and it gets nice and hot. I'm going to just tack that capacitor right in there in parallel with the old one. Okay, always good to use a little flux with these old uh, kind of corroded 
connections and I don't know if I'll be able to do this with see the flux they're eating up all the uh, I'm gonna put the camera down okay so we're all tacked in there oh he's got to double check and make sure you got the negative on the right side or else you'll uh, have an explosion uh, the other section of this capacitor is two microfarads that's why you're that's why you're not getting any bass through it, but we got good ESR here now. You know what, I'm gonna check that. I want to check that big paper one on the top while I'm here. Check that one right there. So we're going to clip directly across this. Okay, let's see. So that one sounds fine. The one off the cathode of the vertical circuit. I think that's about it. There's only that one and then the three the three cans. So that's it. Took me about uh, five, uh, took me about 30 seconds to diagnose it and two minutes to re-put the new cap in so let's put it back in. And I know what I wanted to take a look at, which was the shaft that pulled out of the volume slash power switch. And I don't know how I'm going to deal with this because the TV is on right now. And I, I'm almost tempted to just bypass that power switch. I think that might save me a service call. In fact, I'm going to do that. Let me. Okay, the power switch has been bypassed. This is not the time or the place to try and open that up and see why the clip fell off and it pulled out and try and do microsurgery out in this parking lot. So I just bypassed it because they use a circuit breaker anyway and I'm going to stick the shaft back in there um, just so the TV looks good cosmetically, you know, and if someone was to push it in and then pull it out and it didn't turn back on, I would have to come down here so I might as well just do this now. Okay so everything's hooked back up, yoke, CRT, high voltage, uh, video feed in, uh, degaussing, I gotta kinda save time here, I'm running out of video, I wanna keep this short anyway so let's give it power, let's see how we do. Boy it's super dim, it's been warming up for like 15 minutes now. It's just, uh, CRT is just getting weak as hell. Look at that though, we got way too much vertical deflection on both top and bottom. So I need to adjust it. So let's see how this goes over. good I guess just kind of pulls out if you pull it too hard but I can feel the clip in there it's just like it's lost spring tension we got good deflection now but I'm not getting a video signal he's checking right now to see if the camera's on Pretty cool we got full instructions in here of what to turn on and off every night and everything's labeled and appropriately taped Hmm. OK. 
okay so everything's working now uh, I did have these wires flip-flop which was making the image uh, flip-flop the right side was on the left side I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my sticker on that capacitor this is the date today 725-2012. I think I'm gonna just stick this on my stick it right here on the capacitor that I um, bypassed or jumped. Looking much better. It's getting brighter. We had an earthquake here last night at about 3:45 in the LA basin that. If it was a couple points higher it would have launched this TV right off of this base. It was a strong bump. So no more humbar, good vertical deflection, weak CRT. CRT takes about 15-20 minutes to warm up before you can even see it and the screens are all the way up. But uh, only a month to go. Hang in there, man. Downtown, but I want to get some footage of all these Homeland Security vehicles. Oh, great. Protective services. I want you guys to know I'm not ignoring the comments and questions you ask me in the comments section. Uh, the last Firefox update did something where I, it won't let me reply to the questions and comments you guys ask. So until I get time to figure out how to undo that, um, don't expect replies. But go ahead and ask the questions and when I get on another computer or whatever I'll try and answer them.